my name is Charles Roberts. I'm doing this video for patients that are about to undergo cabbage. It really stands for CABG, coronary artery bypass grafting. That is the most common operation in heart surgery. Patients are referred from cardiologists who have done a cardiac catheterization. A coronary bypass operation is meant to, number one, eliminate or improve your symptoms. If you have chest pain, in nine out of 10 people, the chest pain goes away with a bypass operation. If you have heart failure from heart attacks, uh, a bypass operation may improve your breathlessness a little bit. Sometimes the contractility can improve with a bypass. It's meant to extend your life. A bypass has been shown to um, extend life compared to not having the bypass. So the purpose is really to improve not only your quality of life, but your quantity of life. When I see a patient, um, I ask a number of questions. Have you had a heart attack? Do you have stents in the heart? Have you had a stroke? Have you had an operation for blockage in the neck? Do you have diabetes? Do you have hypertension? Do you smoke tobacco? How many years? How many packs? Uh, have you taken steroids? Are you on a blood thinner? By asking these questions, I can formulate a risk uh, because not every patient poses the same risk in the operation. Some patients may be a 5% risk of death, whereas other patients may be less than 1% risk of death. So it's a very low risk, um, but it's not zero. We look at the pictures of the catheterization, but let me explain how that catheterization is done. Usually the catheter is put in in the groin or the wrist. The catheter is sent up the aorta, which is the main artery, and the first two branches of the aorta are just above the heart. And the cardiologist puts the catheter in the right branch and shoots dye, and that displays the right coronary artery and you can see blockage. The cardiologist often takes multiple views, multiple pictures, so I'll just scroll through and keep looking at the various images so I can really determine where to put bypasses. Now a bypass operation means that you take an artery or vein from elsewhere in the body and construct bypasses beyond the blockage. Now there are two arteries under the breastbone the one on the left, we detach from the back of the breastbone and we almost invariably sew it to the main artery in the front of the heart. For the other bypasses, we generally take a superficial vein in the leg, which we take out by an endoscope, so it's a small incision, and we take that vein out and then we use maybe two or three segments of it and we sew the top end to the aorta and the bottom end to the coronary artery beyond the blockage. So top end, bottom end, top end, bottom end. So that would be a triple bypass. Generally, it's a five-day hospital stay. Everything happens in Roberts Hospital. It's the tall one. Second floor surgery, fourth floor, one night ICU, 10th floor, three nights regular room. We set a date the day before you're given an appointment to the preoperative clinic, which is in Baylor Heart and Vascular Hospital on the first floor. At that appointment, you're instructed exactly where to appear the day of surgery. So if your operation's on a Tuesday morning, you would have a preoperative appointment on Monday, you would come in Tuesday morning, they would take you over to Roberts Hospital, you would roll back at 7.30, operation done at noon, you do arrive in the ICU with a breathing tube, but generally within six hours, the breathing tube comes out. So generally by the evening, there's no breathing tube. The next morning, sitting in a chair, and sometime in early afternoon, you're transferred to a regular room, which is the 10th floor. We like to follow you for two months because we're very familiar with uh, complications that might occur after heart surgeries. You know, if there's drainage from a wound, if you're uh, unusually short of breath, pain control, too much swelling. Generally, we see patients one week after discharge and then again a month after that. So we do set up clinic appointments for you. Now, the typical recovery after a coronary bypass operation is two months. The breastbone 
is divided and then it's brought together with wires and it fuses together, it will be rock solid after two months. So what we ask you to do is no heavy lifting for two months, nothing greater than a gallon of milk. Walking is unrestricted. You may go upstairs, downstairs, walk anywhere you want, and we encourage that. A lot of people in the workforce take two months off to heal. However, if your job does not require heavy lifting and you want to work at a computer or go in and walk, perfectly okay. There's a team of people that care for you during the process. You might think of it as a pre-operative phase, an operative phase, and a post-operative phase. For example, in the pre-operative clinic, you'll meet providers. And then on the day of operation, you'll meet the cardiac anesthesiologist uh, who are specialists in heart surgery anesthesia. And then after surgery in the intensive care unit, you'll meet critical care providers. And specifically, you'll meet physicians who specialize in intensive care, along with nurse practitioners and bedside nurses. And then you'll go up to 10 Roberts and you'll meet uh, physical therapists, respiratory therapists. And then as an outpatient, you'll meet our nurse practitioners in our office. It takes a team uh, to care for patients with coronary bypass surgery uh, to achieve excellent results.